Welcome to my face. I'm James St. James, and this is Transformation. Well, my dears, I am very excited today. We have with us model, <laughs> YouTube sensation, makeup artist, the gorgeous, the fabulous Joseph Harwood darling. I was flying out for BeautyCon, which is the uh, blogging convention. I was with Patrick Starr and Manny oh, Yeah. They looked after me, I was crazy. I had like an anxiety attack, all these children were running around, there were security <laughs> guards, I was like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get, get me a Cosmo and I'm gonna hide back there. <laughs> bye bye children, bye bye. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like an empty mall that I'd pop along to. <laughs> <laughs> no. Really? And the, yeah. the kids all knew who you were and you were mobbed and, and people yeah, were screaming yeah. and shouting and uh, pulling at you? Yeah, I heard. I heard. That's uh, exciting though, isn't it? No! Well, welcome to America. That's how we all are. <laughs> there is an elephant in the room that we need to discuss. We've switched this around. We have, we have. I'm to do about my face. I'm uh, actually sitting <laughs> on the right hand side right now and in editing, we've switched it because you don't like what? Well, my face looks like on one side fine, and then the other side I look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. So a little bit of editing with no. the three. But you do know that when I look at you, I don't see that. Oh right? no, no one else does. It's just me. You also were telling me before that when you do your videos, you speed up the. I do. I do so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving away all my no, things. No, but I love in. this. I want to talk about this because this is insane. Okay. You speed it up so that your voice is higher. Yeah, by 3%. Because <laughs> then all like, the homophobes from overseas don't go like, I'll burn you with flames. And then the other thing that you said that you do, I'm sorry to give this all away. I change the perspective so it's more like, stretch it out so my eyes are bigger. But, uh, but doesn't that also <laughs> give you like a bigger forehead, like a billboard? No, because it, it works with the eye when you're doing like a feminization thing. Like when girls get feminization surgery. They make the top wider. And it's all about the space in between. I think people focus all about the features, but it's also the gaps in between, like the nose to mouth gap, the lip to chin gap. And I kind of play with that when I do a feminization tactic. I spend like most of my childhood painting like Caravaggio's and Rembrandt's like at home. Like, mm -hmm. I was obsessed with learning how to paint like the old masters. When I wanted to do makeup on myself and use it more of a, as like a transformative thing, I looked at surgery. Okay. So when I saw like the differences that like a lift, a lip lift could do or the stages of puberty where the face changes and lengthens, uh -huh. I work in kind of like a scientific way like that. So I reverse that with illusion. I want to do more of my kind of signature look, which is more to the softer side of drag. So you're going to make me soft? Yes. And you're gonna make me pretty. Yes. Oh God, yay! <laughs> <laughs> this is really exciting because you are going to use what? I'm using my makeup brushes. Oh, this, I'm not gonna give all my secrets really away. Really soft. This, this is one. Really beautiful. Is an ancient squirrel. Is it? Yes. Oh, it's really nice. And you have your own line of makeup. I do. I've been working on it since 2009. Are you a good business person? Of course. I'm in Balenciaga, honey. Of course, she's a good <laughs> business lady. Find them on my website www. Josephharwood.com and you can join my mailing list and then pre-orders will be out by the time this is up. Fabulous, exciting. Yay! I have a secret that's been working on at the moment, which is kind of like, you know when they tape the face back? Yeah. It's kind of like that, but it's like a cream. It's by a brand that I'm product testing on that I'm not meant to bring with me. So uh -huh. it shall be, it should be remained nameless. It's a magic well, potion. Well, I don't know that you can do that. <laughs> what kind of tutorial is this if you aren't going to tell us what you're doing? You started off as a model. Yeah, I was, when I was 15, I was contacted by a lady from Dazed and Confused magazine. Did you grow up in London? How did no. they find you? How did I, they... I think back when MySpace was like, it was like 2007, 2006. Right. There was all the like the, the fun people. There wasn't so many people to find, so I stood out. I just couldn't do it. I'm not naturally that thin, and I, they wanted me to do girl stuff all the time. Well, wait, that's what you were telling me before, that you were a, a, a big girl before, that when you were... When I was a kid, I wasn't skinny, so when I lost weight, I had this very alien, kind of Bowie-looking face. Uh-huh. And to me, that freaks me out when I see myself, because I don't look like that in the mirror to me. It was fun, and then from there, I started doing more editorial work and I worked in Tokyo, and then yeah. So I'm gonna start off by just doing the forehead and I'm using a light foundation. I kind of work down the face because I want it to, 
I'm gonna focus on the eyes first, then we can see how much we need in the other areas of the face. Because the forehead is normally the most cleanest area of the face, so you don't need as much product there as you think. You're so intelligent and you know what you're doing, everything like that. I just can't imagine that you would get any any backlash. Oh girl, like it's more to do with the timing that I did. Like I did one of the first boy to girl transformations on YouTube. This was like before this was like a buzzword or like the acne videos. Like everyone does an acne video because it's a searchable term. What popular. is an acne video? Like an acne transformation video. People always Google things like abscesses and like pimple porn and shit oh, like that. Oh yeah, uh -huh. So um, it's really easy to get videos popular just doing these silly phrases. But I actually made fake acne out of like theatrical stuff and I was like, I have really bad skin. Look at me cover it. I did see the the French boss got that you had done with- Oh yeah, uh, I did it for the cover of Loverboy. You made him look like Madonna. I did. <laughs> that took quite a little bit of- Because he's a, he's a- Big butch masculine oh, guy. God. He's beautiful. He's such a nice guy as well. I really yeah. Like yeah. Did you have sex with him? No. <laughs> I'm a virgin. <laughs> but was he flirty? What was he like? No, no. He was just really, really nice. I asked him about like what music he liked, and he was like, I like sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so should I tell you what I'm doing now? Yeah. I'm using a concealer by Dermacolor, and I'm building up on top. So this is more of a grey because mm -hmm. when you have um, paler complexion. People seem to use those bright, orangey skin tones because the way they sell skin tones is by accurately matching them and making an average. I always see queens do like more of an orangey contour and it's good for a basis because it gives you color, but it's not accurate as a shadow. So you can't trick the eye with an orange. Oh, okay. So when people do like a nose contour in orange, it kind of looks like a what's it? A what's it? <laughs> like a cheaty Cheetos. That's not a thing. That is a thing. Nobody call uh, Cheetos what's it? Yeah. The what's it is a crisp. <laughs> 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 I'm not understanding anything today. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. Well, I gotta tell you, I, I'm just gonna admit this right now that we spoke on the phone the other day, and I sat there looking at Pete was on the other line, <laughs> and I kept looking at him like, what did the fuck is she saying? Like, I have no idea what any of this is. And I kept saying, oh, yeah, uh huh. But it's charming, it's adorable. <laughs> yeah, you can't understand me, and then I'm adorable. That's what I'm adorable. <laughs> so this is gonna create the illusion of like a shallower temple, which I don't understand why everyone always seems to come to their temples because that's actually an aging thing. Not all faces need to have it thinner here. A lot of male faces need it wider here. And it does create more of an 80s kind of eye look. Like it's very gray strains to bring the eye into the temple, but mm -hmm. we're not in the 80s anymore. I do find that there is a big difference between British drag and American drag. It's the business model because we don't have a business model like a pageantry system here. So pre-drag race, the only people that can make money doing drag were in pantomimes. Oh, So right. the aesthetic had to match what they were selling towards. So it's more theatrical? It's more like Damien, it's not done with the same precision, it doesn't need to look beautiful on cameras, you don't need to create more of an illusion, it's more the Dan LaRue. Um, it's more character driven as opposed yeah. to, yeah. Yeah, I'd like Matthews, Zuldi, Kabuki on my walls, uh, you spooky. and your crazy people. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because I remember when I was 16, 17, I had a collage of uh, Lee Bowery and Trojan and uh, like Klaus Nomi mm. and like a bunch of the New York Queens. Have you got Jimmy James to do your makeup as a Marilyn? We have not had Jimmy He's James. Like, Jimmy James is another one that like when I was in high school and I would stay home from school like when I was sick and he would be on the Phil Donahue show. It was just like world op curtains were opening in my mind. And I, we see him all the time out here now. I don't think I've ever told him how much that meant to me when I was like, you know. I'm gonna start mapping out the eyebrows now. So this is a small weasel brush made of weasels. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, they're all animal and cruelty free. They're just weasley. I think no, they're... you just said it was a squirrel. <laughs> You're totally lying. No, no, that's a squirrel. That can't be cruelty free. They, they torture those squirrels. They stroke them and they give them... <laughs> <laughs> so the squirrels willingly give up their... They do. They're just, it comes out of... It does. Take my tail. Thank you for looking after me. <laughs> Have my fur. So I'm going to be using um, a darker concealer that's like an ebony color concealer to draw in hairs. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Sophia Loren did. If you sent me a picture mm. of some eyebrows and we were trying to figure out what, why you sent it to us. How long does it take you to do your face usually? About 30 minutes. What? But I don't even wear eyelashes, so I'm kind of lazy. Yeah, that's a big thing, isn't it? They hate the non-wearing eyelash people here, don't they? <laughs> if you just create an artificial crease and then create a line that you can judge by, that's a good way of guiding. 
So if you open the eye forwards, all of that will sit inside your eye. So you don't need to worry about that area really. You can cover that with eyeliner. How did you learn that? Um, using paint on my face. <laughs> so for the nose contour, I'm using a grey and I'm really bringing it up into the crease and then I'm cutting off the alar of the nose, which is the nostril. So I'm using a white to cut back in against the nose contour. So I'm drawing in the shape of the nose with the highlight. So this... Nobody's ever done that to me before. No, it's it's more like how um, Wade Bandy would have done contouring. Wade Bandy, I love you for <laughs> knowing that. Is it walnuts when you're having a stroke? You have to give someone a walnut. Or, <laughs> or is it when you're cyanide? Someone's you can make cyanide out of apple seeds. Really? Yeah. Don't do this at home. <laughs> I'm then going to go in with some white, which is more your skin colour. As I did with the nose, I'm going to cut in under the jewel. Nobody does it. And you can take it really severely and just do like a white light and then blend it into your natural skin tone. It gives the same effect, but it just, I think it looks a little bit softer. This one, it's just, I literally blow on my mind. So I'm now using a paler color underneath the lip as opposed to on the edge of the chin because men have less fat in their face. So we have a W shape, shape shadow underneath the lip. So when people do like the outside of the lips and it brings the lip up, that's kind of the same effect. I'm gonna build up into the eye now because we've pretty much set the foundations then the final touch will be setting everything through. And what is our color palette today? Neutrals with a bit of rust in them. I've never been around like friendly gay people though before I've come here. You've never been around friendly gay people? No. What do you mean by that? The gay scene's like so different. It's really been like shocking. I just never really clicked with the whole club culture. I grew up like fighting people though. You grew up fighting people? Yeah. What? Girl, there was this bitch at the ATM. You call them ATM here, right? Uh-huh. Tried to shave me and my friend. I went, girl, do you have my um, tresemme in your bag? With my lighter, boom. What? You're like burning people? Yes, they're, they're mean. <laughs> so we're blending eyeshadows. Basically, I kind of create an artificial crease, but I soften it. And then I keep on building into the shape until my eye likes it. I thought if you bleep something, it stays that way. No, it's gonna, it's gonna change. <laughs> oh my god. My sister used to like sit on me and pop my pimples when I was little, and I would cry, and I'd be like, "Get off!" And she'd be like, "Ow!" My sister used to try and kill me. I always overdraw the middle of the top lip because it just creates that feminine space then. Now, I always would choose squiggle with lashes, so are you going to stay in I place? don't squiggle with lashes. That's, that's someone else. You've been <laughs> watching someone else's channel. <laughs> I don't think I have. Now, see, this is something else that nobody ever puts the glue on first, and then the lash on top, they put the glue directly to the lash. Yeah, but when you have a fiddly person, <laughs> this is my weird way of doing and lashes on clients, I do it from behind. Can you make a prettier face? Make a prettier face? Yeah. Can I approve the final picture? Uh, only if you speed them up by 3%. Okay. So should we change and get your wig on? Um, yeah, uh, let me go change and put, uh, you brought a wig? Yes. And then I, a dress, and then your baboon fur? Yes! And then let's, uh, we're gonna have a dress face! Woo! Yay! Like a blonde, Grace Cardington. We'll go with that. What? Yeah. People love my dancing! How <laughs> dare you? Hey, look at us. Look at us. Are we still dancing? <laughs> We're still dancing. And don't forget to subscribe. To Wild Presents. Day! That way? Did you hear the news? RuPaul's DragCon is the first ever drag convention in history. Go to RuPaul'sDragCon.com for tickets and all the tea you need to know.